back to CNN Tonight, everyone. The FBI is analyzing that audio recording that CNN Tonight uncovered in Ferguson, Missouri. It allegedly contains sounds of the gunshots that killed Michael Brown. CNN cannot independently verify the authenticity of the tape. Here's CNN's Jason Carroll with more now. Could this be the sound of the shots officer Darren Wilson fired at Michael Brown? The alleged audio of the incident captured by an unidentified man during a video chat believed to be at the time of the shooting. Just going over some of your videos. How could I forget? CNN has not independently verified its authenticity, but the audio already has the attention of the FBI and forensic audio expert Frank Piazza. The boldness of the orange uh, is reflecting either volume or mic proximity, so he's closer to the microphone. Piazza first analyzed the audio using spectrographic imagery, which in short helps one see the content of sound. Particular interest here, spikes in the images. But you can almost count one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if you're right. You are pretty. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, fine. you got it. Six spikes, perhaps equaling six shots. Then a break. And then again. There. Two, three, four. In summary, six shots, a short break. Then apparently four more. Ten in all. Piazza turns to another screen which focuses on the timeline and amplitude of the audio. He takes a closer look at measuring that short break. So it looks like the last gunshot ends right about here. So, so fine. So fine. Just going over some of your videos. And it seems to pick up again there. So the area is approximately 2.7 seconds. So you can say two and a half to three seconds is the area of the pause before you hear the gunshots pick up again. A little less than three seconds, but enough time potentially to support allegations Officer Wilson fired on Brown when he had his hands up or that Wilson fired in defense after Brown allegedly turned and charged at him. It doesn't really contradict or fit in to any of the narratives that have been created so far. Mark O'Mara knows all too well about the importance of audio evidence. He represented George Zimmerman in the Trayvon Martin trial, during which much was made of who screamed during a 911 call made during the fatal altercation between Zimmerman and Martin. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. All right, what is your... In the end, FBI analysis of that 911 audio was inconclusive. Who screamed for help, Martin or Zimmerman? Still a debate. Omara says maybe the audio from Ferguson will be different. It could, for example, have Mike Brown saying something like, I give up. It could have the officer saying, freeze, stop, drop to the ground, whatever may have been said. So though we haven't heard it, there are some audio analysts out there who may be able to drag out some more information from that tape. Experts say those answers could be a while in coming. The FBI will need all the electronic information about who recorded the video chat and who was on the other end and any other clues that may be buried on the audio recording. Jason Carroll, CNN, New York.